I'm Cheryl Barnes from Golden Threads, and I'm here today to introduce you to freehand quilting and how to learn how to freehand quilt. Now, the first thing I want to do is to explain to you the difference between freehand and free motion. Free motion is when is what you call the movement that you're making when you're moving your fabric under your machine or when you're moving your long arm over your quilt. That's free motion. Free hand quilting is when you are quilting without a quilting design to follow. So it's almost like um, you would be sitting down in front of a blank piece of paper and somebody told you to sketch something. You would be freehand sketching. That's what freehand quilting is. We have a wonderful designer at Golden Threads. She is um, pretty well known in the U.S. and Canada and abroad as well, Sue Patton. I'm going to show you her little picture back there. She's pretty distinctive with her with her great red hair and, and her exuberant quilting styles. And she has um, printed two books, written two books for us, so that we can teach you how to do freehand quilting if that is a technique that you would like to learn. This is her first book, Quilting Possibilities, and what she has done in this book is she teaches you some of her techniques and how to fill different areas. So if you were quilting a circle, you always do your main stem first and then stitch out with whether your your um, stitch out with your second design or your second design element, whether it's the plumes, whether it's these little spheres, whether it's your flames, but you always fill the area up by um, going through the stem first. The other reason she does that is you stitch this first, then one side, then the other, and you're right back here, so it will leave you free to go on to your next section to do the same. Do the stem, down one side, up the other, onto your next section. So you're not having to stop and start while you're doing your quilting. Now in this particular book, what we did was we chose 90 of our favorite piecing blocks. And Sue has given you different ideas on how to fill the different shapes within the pieced block. And there are some wonderful, wonderful pages in here. So if you're interested in learning freehand quilting, this is a wonderful way to do it. Now behind me up here is a sampler that she stitched from different blocks that are um, featured in, in her book. And you can see that they are energetic and she loves using bright colored threads and they'd be a perfect addition to some of the more modern quilts that you may be doing. Now if you need a little bit different education in instruction in doing freehand quilting designs, Sue's second book, Adaptable Quilting Designs, actually takes you step by step through some of her freehand shapes. And so instead of copying this as a pattern, which you certainly could do, you could trace this on the Golden Threads quilting paper and stitch through it, but if you want to learn how to fill a shape, she gives you your stitching lines. So this would be your first line of stitching, your second line of stitching, your third, and your fourth. And she does this with multiple design elements throughout the whole book, gives you lots of different ideas, and so she can step by step you into learning how to freehand quilt. So I hope that this excites you, I hope this helps you, and get some fabric out and try some freehand quilting.